Hi, this is Dr. Liza Sejido, and today's video is relevant to my stage lighting student, outdoor light show enthusiasts, and long-term followers of this channel and PsycheOpera.com. This video has been a long time coming because I've been talking about building a permanent immersive performance space for my electronic operas installation art and events since 2018. And now, after many roadblocks and monumental life changes, I'm finally beginning to manifest this long-held dream. And I'm starting with the quote-unquote stage lighting. My prospective immersive theater will be nestled within an oak grove on my homestead. I want to be able to create fixed and interactive audiovisual art that can be experienced within the grove and from a distance. The easiest way to create programmable landscape lighting would be to use waterproof stage lights. However, waterproof stage lights are expensive and I wouldn't ever have the means to properly light each oak, which would require at least three washes per tree, at least one uplight for the canopy and two uplights or front lights for the trunks. The most cost-effective solution to my problem is to hack low-voltage RGB LED landscape lights and give them the programmability of stage lights by using a DMX decoder. I purchased my first DMX decoder on Amazon for about $50. This decoder has 24 channels, which would give me the ability to individually program 8 low-voltage RGB LED landscape lights after they have been hacked. The purpose of the hack is to bypass the light's microcontrollers with their pre-programmed scenes and gain direct access to their LEDs, which would get wired up to my DMX decoder. The decoder needs a compatible power supply that converts AC to low voltage DC. In low voltage landscape lighting, this power supply is referred to as a transformer. I consulted my decoder's manual to purchase a compatible transformer. The manual also contains wiring diagrams to help me connect the conductors from my transformer to the decoder. My budget decoder doesn't have built-in DMX XLR cables, inputs, nor outputs. I have to wire the DMX XLR inputs and outputs myself. Apart from consulting the wiring diagram in the manual, you need to know which type of XLR connectors correspond to DMX in and out on a standard stage light. Otherwise, you won't have the ability to add your DMX decoder to a standard stage lighting system if you wanted to. On a standard DMX light fixture that uses XLR connectors, the male XLR connector is used as DMX in and the female XLR connector is used as DMX out. Wiring up my connectors to the decoders also requires that I figure out which pin corresponds to which DMX conductor on the decoder. Once I've gotten the power supply and DMX connectors wired up to the decoder, then it's time to hack the landscape lights. I've purchased a variable power supply to help me locate the red, green, and blue power conductors on my light's microcontroller. Once I locate the conductors, I can solder leads or connectors to them to make installing the lights easier later. Because my DMX decoder is going to be a part of a larger DMX system, I must address the decoder using the old school binary number dip switches on the device. I'll be consulting online dip switch calculators to help me address my lights. ChauvetDJ.com has a free online dip switch calculator. I'll also be studying the channel sheet on my decoder to learn how to properly program my hacked lights. This is only the beginning of my journey and I'll have more to share as the project progresses. For now, I hope you found this video enlightening and inspiring. See you in the next video. Chaito.